So do, do I see speedrunning as a personal progress journey or, or, or am I more thrive by competition? Uh, I am, there are people who are in both camps, by the way. Let it be known that there's like not just one way to speedrun, certainly. You have those who um, perhaps found about speedrunning after streaming and they, they saw the racing. They would see, you know, the, the three-way 120 star races of Mario 64 and they're like, yo, that, that is hype. I want to be part of that. And they, they see that competition and you can compare it to Smash Bros. You can compare it to any typical FGC game or any eSport. They think, yeah, 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 I want, I want that. And they get in because they want to beat people and whatnot, which is totally great. But in the uh, history and the lore of speedrunning, uh, racing was something that, that, that kind of boomed with, with the streaming of speedrunning. Um, I've just been speedrunning since 2004. And back, at, back in that time, it was all about you and, you and yourself. It was a very personal journey because... It was you in your room recording on a v, on a VCR, trying to trying to do trying to finally catch on video this one sick trick you've been describing on a form in pure text for hours on end, and no one can understand what you're talking about. And you just nail all these crazy tricks in one execution, and you go from there. So um, when you compare that 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 different environment of pre-streaming to post-streaming, uh, it's very it's very easy to see, at least for me, that it's a, it was a personal journey. I was all about like I wanted to be the the coolest inhuman playing speedrun machine out there. Um, so it was a little different for me.